Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today doing the what's next on Derek Chisora, the former uh, heavyweight world title challenger. Um, Chisora lost his third fight in a row when he took on Joseph Parker for his second straight fight and came up just short. He got cracked um, in the sixth. It looked like he was going to get knocked out in the sixth round. He got hit with an uppercut by Parker and um, he was able to, <coughs> excuse me, for about a round and a half there, it looked like he was out, he was going to get knocked out, but he showed a shitload of heart, fought back, actually won some rounds uh, in the second half of the fight and uh, made it an interesting one. You know, it wasn't a blowout for Parker, but Parker was convincing in the victory. But Chisora comes up short. And the big question now is what's next for Derek Chisora following that loss? And the truth is, is Derek Chisora ha is a name gatekeeper. I mean, this dude... And he has an attractive style. Yeah, he's got power, and he's he's, but he doesn't have superpower to where, like Luis Ortiz has that threatening kind of power in that southpaw boxing style. That can really um, pose a, you know, a problem for a lot of fighters. So guys avoid him. Um, but Chisora has that fan friendly style. He hits you, but and he he can knock you out, but he doesn't have that one punch, you know, at a uh, blitzing knockout power uh, with every shot that he throws. And he's also got a style where he's hittable. So that's an attractive style to a lot of guys. And he's a name, you know, so a lot of guys that are trying to make a name for themselves are going to always want to fight Derek Chisora um, as long as he's around, you know, especially after a guy who's still a former champ and, and still like a top five guy um, just fought him. And Alexander Usyk just fought him last year. And, fought, and, and he fought tough against Usyk. He's, got, he's there, um, and he's tough. And if actually, if you can finish him off and stop him, you, that, that's, an, that's impressive because not a lot of people have done that. Um, you know, so for Parker, I mean for Chisora, um, let's run through the top ten and see what could be next for him out of the top ten fighters. We start with number one, uh, WBC champion and undefeated Tyson Fury. He's already beaten Chisora twice uh, back in the day. Um, there's no point for Fury to fight him, you know, so not going to happen. Number two is the unified champion, a rematch with Alexander Usyk. Usyk's not going to fight him. Um, you know, he doesn't have to. He's, and, and now that Chisora's lost back-to-back -back fights, Usyk's in the driver's seat. He's going to fight Anthony Joshua next. Um, so, you know, not going to happen. Number three, Anthony Joshua. I could see this fight... Only if Joshua decides to not fight Usyk and just wants to get like a fight first off against somebody, I could see I could see him staying uh, domestically and fighting um, Chisora, you know, just to get that win on his resume and 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 all that stuff. But I I think Joshua is gonna fight Usyk, so I don't think that fight happens. Number four is Deontay Wilder. You know, Chisora is not a bad name for Deontay Wilder in his first fight back. If Wilder can come out after. Usyk beat Chisora by, by unanimous decision, and you know, but it was a tough fight. And after Parker took two hard-fought decisions against him, and while if Wilder comes back and blitzes uh, Chisora and gets him out of there quick, especially, you know, Wilder's right back where he where he was. You know, he's a threat and a one-punch threat, and it's a big fight for for Chisora. I wouldn't be surprised. It's just PBC would have to work a matchroom to get this fight made, and I really believe that. Um, Al Heyman wants to keep Wilder in house if, if Wilder even decides that he still wants to fight. You know, we've heard talks recently that Wilder um, might not fight again. You know, just just it, but we don't know. So number five is um, is Dillian White, which would be a third fight between these two guys. And right now, it's just not in the cards. White's uh, in line to fight for the WBC title. It's likely he's going to get Tyson Fury next. If he doesn't. I don't think he's going to take a step back and risk it against the guy he's beaten twice already. You know, he beat Chisora the first time by a close decision. They rematched, um, I want to say it was end of 2018. And, um, and you know, it was a close fight. Chisora was actually winning. And White caught him cold in the 11th round and knocked him out cold. And um, what could have been the knockout of the year. It was arguable for knockout of the year. So, you know, Dillian White... Um, really is not going to look Derek Chisora's way. Um, number six is what would be a third fight with Joseph Parker. Not likely. Um, Parker, you know, is just, uh, Parker beat him back to back. He doesn't need to fight him again. You know, so this fight, not going to happen. Um, 
number number seven now is Andy Ruiz Jr., the former unified champ. You know, I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest, but Andy Ruiz, I think, an, another one that wants to stay more in-house with PBC guys. He's a PBC fighter. Um, I wouldn't completely rule it out of the mix, but I think, Jared, honestly, I think Derek Chisora poses too much of a threat because of Andy Ruiz's style, and you saw Andy Ruiz against Chris Ariola. He was overlooking him a little bit. Ariola has that slugger style, and Ariola put Andy Ruiz down. So, Derek Chisora, that's got real power, you never know. He might be able to knock Andy Ruiz out, maybe even beat him by a decision. So, um, you know, I don't think Andy Ruiz is going to lean Chisora's way. Number eight is Luis Ortiz. You know, I think this fight makes a shitload of sense um, if Ortiz can't find an opponent. But, again, you have, you, you got the PBC having to work with Matchroom. Would the two sides be willing to do it is the big question. And I'm going to have to lean towards a no. Number nine is Otto Wallen. You know, would love to see it. I don't think... Um, I don't think either guy, especially if they're on, you know, if Otto Wallen gets asked out in the Dillian White sweepstakes, I don't think either guy is going to, um, is, would flinch and would probably take the fight. You know, I, I really do think they would. I, I, and, and it's a makeable fight. You know, I don't think any promotional issues would get in the way. So I think this one has some legs to it. It could happen. Um, and then, uh, Chisora is tied for 10th right now with Joe Joyce. And, you know, hey, you never know with Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce is still trying to prove that he belongs. The only hiccup here is Matram and Eddie Hearn would have to work with uh, Bob Arum in top rank to make this fight go down. Now, would it be possible? Yeah, I think it's possible. Likely? Probably not. But, hey, I still think it, it's an option. So, again, for Derek Chisora, the sky's the limit. He could fight an undefeated prospect on the rise. He could take on... Um, you know, a top 10 guy, if those guys are willing to fight him. There's a couple guys that have beaten him a couple times, twice already. I think Tyson Fury, uh, Dillian White, and Joseph Parker all have two wins over over uh, Chisora, so not likely he's going to get any of them. But other guys might want to test themselves and say, hey, look, I'm better than those guys, like, like a Deontay Wilder. You never know. But Derek Chisora is never not going to go with a, with, a, with a solid opponent. He's already planning on returning in the first half of the year. And I'm looking forward to seeing him come back. He's, he definitely deserves to be a top 10 guy because of his performances just in the last year alone. And I look forward to seeing him fight again, you know. And uh, someone, some, he's going to fight somebody. So that's it. That's what's next on former world uh, title challenger at heavyweight Derek Chisora following a tough unanimous decision loss to Joseph Parker in their rematch. I hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been hit with the truth.